Hello everyone, your friendly neighborhood scholar Squintina here and today I'm going to go over my controller setup for Dancer. Keep in mind that you can use the navigation on the left to skip to the parts of the video you care about. There is also a macro in the description if you wish to import my setup directly. Just like with my previous setups, I have separated my GCDs and my OGCDs into separate hotbars. We are going to place the GCDs first. Ideally, we want to place our GCDs on the face buttons. So, let's put down Cascade, Fountain, and Fountain Fall, as well as Reverse Cascade. These are the single targets that we're going to use, and then we're going to do the exact same setup for AoE on the other side. So we're going to put down Windmill, Bleed Shower, Blood Shower, and Rising Windmill. By the same actions, what I'm talking about is how the combos work. So right, if you start with Cascade, or the AoE will be a Windmill, it will definitely give you a Fountain or a Blade Shower. It can also give you a Reverse Cascade, which will be Rising Windmill. And then Fountain can go into Fountain Fall, just like Blade Shower can go into Blood Shower. So it's essentially the same combo, just one of the sides is Single Target, the other side is AoE. But with those placed, that only leaves Technically, three GCDs. Officially, one, which will be Saber Dance. But standard step and technical step are abilities that they use the GCD, but they're not completely on it because they've got a recast. They're kind of strange, and so it was kind of difficult to figure out exactly where to place them. I did consider putting the AoEs on the hidden bar, the one that's uh, on the expanded since I do use that for some other jobs where I put the AoE on the expanded. Uh, but I didn't do that because of the resource that gives you procs for the AoE, which people do use even on single target in order to fish for procs, and it just didn't seem appropriate to do that for the answer. And so unfortunately, I did have to put standard step and technical step onto the pad. I considered also putting them on the double, but because you have to actually come back to the single, to do the dance, it it didn't feel quite right. So, time to step goes here, and technical step is right next to it. However, there is a GC I put on the double, and that is Saber Dance. Since it's a gauge and you're waiting for it, it's not like you'd be going constantly to the double to use it. But I did think, because of the standard step and technical step being on the D-pad, what if you have to use it? activate it or finish it while you're moving. Well, I did make a macro. Now keep in mind, macros for, you know, actions are not the best thing to have. So this is meant to be used only if there is no other way you can use a d-pad at that moment. And because it's one macro, it will do standard step first and technical step second. Um, if you're using it to finish, it doesn't matter, but if you're using it to start, you do have to keep in mind the order that it's in. Um, but it is meant to be more of for the finish than for starting. Like, let's say you started your steps, and while you're doing that, you realize you have to dodge. You either can reach your hand across the teeth pad, which I would still recommend because of the queuing issues with macros, but if for some reason that's uncomfortable or you're just like, really in a rush to get that step done, um, you could just reach over to the double to the macro. If you're having issues seeing the macro on the video, it is also in the description. So our GCDs are done, which means now it's time to place our OGCDs. Well, Fendance, Fendance 2, Fendance 3, they happen fairly often. Of course you do want to save them based on, you know, Dancer rotation, but uh, they are fairly often, so they should be on the d-pad and not the double. For Fendance 3, it's going to be repeated on both sides. And then for Fendance 1, it goes on the single target side, and Fendance 2 goes on the AOE side. En avant is a uh, dash, and I have a section for dash, a slot already reserved, and ideally for all jobs I try to use that slot for the dashes forward, not back. Uh, so en avant goes right there, it's, it has a safe spot, that's where it goes. Just like the spot underneath it, um, I try to reserve that 
for resource management, which in Dancer is Flourish. There's also Improvisation, but that one has a much longer cooldown, so uh, Flourish seems like it's a better one to put into the resource slot. We're going to put down Devilment on the D-pad. Arm's Length. I have this slot reserved on all jobs as the knockback prevention slot, so Arm's Length must go here. I'm going to put Improvisation above it. And Shield Samba is going to go into my party mitigation slot. Yes, I have a slot reserved for that as well for pretty much all jobs. Curing Waltz will go on the other side, on the top. Um, for those of you who might have seen my tank setups in the guide, that is where I have Invone. Um, and for non-tank jobs, it's where I will attempt to put the self-heal if possible. Uh, and second wind goes right underneath it for you to use if you need them. Close position. Originally I thought maybe it belongs on, of course the double, I definitely wanted it to be on the double, um, but originally I thought face buttons. But then, like, what if somebody accidentally presses, because you know in the heat of the moment, you're more likely to end up accidentally pressing into a face button than a d-pad. So I decided to give it the same spot that I give my tanks for their tank stances. Since this is kind of a stance too, you activate it once during the fight and unless you really have to, you typically won't change it. So it really is a stance and it will go into the stance section on the d-pad. But that leaves only a few, which I know not everybody appreciates leg raise and foot raise and some people would say don't even bother putting them. Um, if you're doing stuff like Palace of the Dead or, you know, Heaven on High, you actually will want these actions. If you're not, and you don't want to use them, I mean, that's up to you. But if you are a person that does a variety of content, you probably want to have them just in case. And so Leg Graze is right here, but Head Graze goes back on the primary. And so does Foot Graze. This leaves only a few abilities, Tensor doesn't have that many compared to other jobs. Peloton will be on the Expanded. Now, typically speaking, I try not to put abilities on the expanded that aren't also on the primary, but this is peloton, use it outside of combat anyway, um, so it can totally go there. This means that there is nothing on the expanded for dancer except for peloton. Of course if you want to put something on there, go right ahead, um, but it does mean that when it comes to dancer, everything is on the primary and the double. You can see your abilities for battle at all times, no problem, and honestly it's really great. Limit Break has a designated slot on the double. And Sprint, for those of you who've seen my other setups, you know that I put my Sprint in System Configuration, Gamepad, Button Configuration. I have Execute Macro 99 on the right click, and Macro 99 is my Sprint. Which, no, it does not suffer from lack of skill queuing because Sprint itself does not have that regardless of whether you use using macro or not. I've tested it. Now for macro 98, I'll be honest, I don't really feel the need to use it for DPS too much. But I do have one for DPS, it's just target focus and then focus target. And with that, the entire dancer setup is finished. The extra buttons on the double can be used for potions, whether it's, you know, a tincture, if you're, you're using Eureka potions in Eureka, you can put stuff there, but whatever you need. Alright, so here's the summary version. Well, basically the quick version. On the primary hotbar, we've got Cascade, Fountain, Fountain Fall, Reverse Cascade. Fan Dance, Fan Dance 3, Standard Step, Technical Step. Also, Windmill, Blade Shower, Blood Shower, Rising Windmill, Fan Dance 2, Fan Dance 3, Foot Graze, and Head Graze. On the Expanded, we've got Peloton, and that's it. On the Double, 
on avant, a macro that does tender step and technical step, flourish, saber dance, improvisation, shield samba, arm's length, devilment, other side, curing waltz, leg graze, second wind, limit break, close position, and then whatever potions you need. That's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got any questions, you can reply in the comments. You can hit me up on Twitter. You can come by my stream on Twitch, whatever. And I will see you all for the next video. Bye-bye.